Hey, White Rook 85 here. I have the Sega SGL21 out here, Camp Go Time. Uh, recently put a uh, True Glow red green uh, one magnifier dot on it. Uh, seemed to be the uh, the way to go for me. My eyes are a little bit failing at uh, my advanced age, unfortunately. Uh, so I have the uh, the True Glow. Again, this is 1X red green magnifier, depending on how you turn the knob at the top. will either give you a red dot or a green dot. Uh, it has to flip up lenses. Uh, put it on and sighted it in. Really didn't take that many rounds. So uh, a shot at the target, did a couple groups of three, did an adjustment, came back, a couple more shots, and uh, I worked it right into the right into the bowl fairly easily. So uh, it's true glow. Uh, and again, it's one of those lower end uh, things, but it's, uh, it actually seems seems pretty good for, for what it is. Uh, and again, it was around the 50-ish range, probably depending on where you get it. Uh, I will have the model number in the notes for you. Uh, remember, this is a SEG SDL21. Doesn't look like what it, uh, it did before, but put the uh, folding stock on, the grip, uh, the tap, Tapco 4 grip. Uh, so what we're gonna do, one more thing, to this besides the True Glow 1X uh, red dot green dot, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a short vertical grip on it. Um, this actually is uh, was basically four position uh, with the rail. Uh, it was on the side. If you checked out a couple of the other videos, you saw I took the rail off that was on the side. Uh, I forgot to show you the one on the bottom. It actually exposes by just lifting this up, taking that off, and now we have our rail on the bottom. So we have our, uh, let me put this down for a sec. And of course, for those that you are asking, yes, it's unloaded. So let's get this grip out. Haven't put it on, haven't tried it. So you're doing what I'm doing again. Let me, this is the, and again, the Tapco Intrafuse short, uh, vertical grip, as you can see, very small compared in the hand uh, to some of the longer grips, some of the some of the ones that may come down in that range. Has a nice rubber bottom on it, uh, so uh, if you're if you're resting and if you can rest it on something, I think it's not going to not going to move on you. So as you see, this uh, spring loaded, so you don't need to actually hold that open uh, as you're putting it on. So let's go ahead and. Get it in a good spot. I'll, I'm going to start with about as back as far back as, uh, or far, yeah, far back as I think I can. We'll tighten her up. All right. I didn't quite tighten it as much as I uh, was going to. As you can see, this Tapco uh, vertical grip. So Tapco. Uh, or the Tapco short uh, short grip goes with the uh, the four grip colors match. Uh, here we have a magazine. This one's empty, so let's go ahead and put a mag in and make sure that it doesn't interfere with us loading. And uh, so, as you can see, if it was really any farther, trying to get the magazine in or out, since you do come forward with it, uh, might be a problem. So. As a matter of fact, looks like uh, let's go up a little bit farther with it. See that either that or you're sticking on me. Let's go up just a little bit with it. So let's move it up. And let's jump it up to about the midway point. And again, this is another Tapco product made in the USA. <laughs> Uh, for the 922R compliance. Remember guys, if you're working on your 8K, you cannot just put any part on it that you want. You have to make sure that you have a legal amount of U.S. parts on it or uh, you start violating some federal, federal laws. We don't want that. Let's try that again. Nice in, nice out. So I think that's... Uh, Try from down here. So let's get a let's get a, a look here. 
I think uh, I think that's about where I'll keep it. Uh, I think if it was maybe back a little bit, my hand wouldn't fit in there as good. When it feels nice and tight, nice and sturdy, I'm really getting a good grip out of this. And again, this uh, this does have the folding stock on it, so let's let's take a look. Now this is this has got to be good. This is so as we can see, nice. If you grip like this, let's pull our stock back. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the empty out. Put my ears on and load up and uh, we'll take a couple shots of the target downrange. Let me do that. All right, let's go hot. You good? Good. Uh, feels really good. I'm really getting a nice steady base out of it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a couple more shots to see what happens. Wow, I must have had the tank rounds in there. Let's go ahead and put it on safe. And White Rock 85 signing out from Camp Go Time with the Sega SGL21 uh, with the new Tapco uh, short grip on there. Boy, was that, uh, that was a nice, sturdy, sturdy rest on there. So for you guys that are uh, looking for a grip for your AK, Definitely recommend it. Just took a couple shots with it. Really, that was the first time I took it out of the box and put it on. Um, really feels pretty good. It's either uh, raining on me or the, the target's still exploding down the down range. So uh, <laughs> let's sign off and get this uh, get this fine weapon out of the out of the weather for now, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Oh man, I gotta clean this up now. Oh. Oh well. Well, uh, I'm gonna borrow White Rook 85's uh, fine piece of Russian machinery here with just enough American parts, but mostly Russian. And uh, I think we got a target down there. And I think it's uh, Tannerite. And I know it's two pounds. <laughs> So uh, hopefully this, this takes one shot. Otherwise, I'm just gonna blame it on the rifle and uh, see what happens here. So we got the new True Glow dot on there. You see how I held it by the nice grip there? That actually feels really good for racking it. And uh, actually, it's green dot. Uh, let me give this a shot. Smoke ring? Please tell me you caught the smoke ring. Wow. That went right towards the camera down there too. I'm just gonna put this on safe. I think that was a success. I think we blew up part of that. I don't know if we took the top of that off or not. We shall check. Yeah, we'll find out. That was great. Look at all the fresh, smells like fresh cut grass. <laughs> oh, look at the ferns. Mulch. Oh wow, there's nothing left on the, uh, nothing left on the ferns. And yeah, this is freshly, freshly cracked. <laughs> Thank goodness there's no fire involved. That's great. Yeah, oxygen rubbing. Yeah, this, uh, this wouldn't be a good spot to start a fire. The pig tinder box. Yeah, the tinder box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be burning for three years before they put that out. <laughs>